Hello, everyone. So to start out my, my presentation, I would like you to imagine something. I'd like you to imagine a quality engineered bridge. OK. Beautiful concrete spans, beautiful stale beams, yet it leads to nowhere. Why? Because the engineer plagues myself out, never presented the project. You see, he questioned every material choice. He read all of his calculations. He even redrew the lines on his blueprint until it remained just that, a blueprint. This isn't just about bridges. It's about the countless ideas that died in the hands of self-doubt. Self-doubt limits your innovation. Not only that, it makes you hesitant and therefore it makes you invisible. What if the engineers who worked on the GPS system thought that connecting devices to satellites up in the space was impossible? We would lack the infrastructure we have today, such as Google Maps, Apple Maps, or even just regular emergency services. Leading back to self-doubt. You see, self-doubt makes you ask yourself stupid questions. What if I can't do it? What if they laugh at my design? What if they think my design is ugly? What if I, my calculations were wrong and I caused a disaster? But look at the Wright brothers. You see, they have been faced by doubts not only by publicity, but by themselves. Think about it. When they made their first airplane, nothing in the world could fly that was man-made. They had to overcome the self-doubt of their own, of, their, of themselves. And so, not only have they faced self-doubts, they only faced pub public humility by trying to reinvent what was the modern-day greatest invention, I think. You see, I like to share my own experience. This was supposed to be a motherboard of my drone. It was supposed to be a low-cost drone that would be used for emergency kits. But while making this drone, we faced hundreds of challenges. We were getting code errors, code errors, bugs and bugs, and, go, and even crashes. And so it took me hundreds of times to get back to the drawing board and to discuss with my teammates. To be frank, I spent a lot of time and money trying to what was through my project. But I was just so frustrated. How could something I spent so much time and effort trying to make just fail like that? You see, but my teammates, they encouraged me. They told me that since you already spent so much time and effort, why not just put in some more? Finish the project, submit it to the competition. I was like, maybe I should just try some more. And so, although I couldn't bring the drone here today, the project was completed days before its deadline, and I was so thankful for all of my teammates. I also like to quote a quote from Nelson Mandela. He said, everything seems impossible until it's done. This deeply resonates in engineering, where there will be coding errors that send you back to the drawing board, or some design failures that mean you just want to destroy everything you own. But the goal is not to give up. The goal is to not let self-doubt overcome you, but you need to understand the roots of self-doubt. We need to understand that eradicating self-doubt is impossible, but we need to overcome it by understanding it. By sharing your unperfect ideas with colleagues or teammates, and by actively seeking feedback, even when you fear criticism, this is how you overcome self-doubt. You do not let self-doubt overcome you. And you put more work in, try again, and try again. Because if you let self-doubt overcome you, you think of all the potential you could have done with all your projects and how it could change the world. And so I would also like to bring an example to Thomas Edison. He didn't just fail to invent the light bulb. He failed thousands of times. Each time he failed, he could have quit, but then he didn't, and look at what we have. We have so many lights up all up in this room. He changed the world by just keep doing it and doing it again. He didn't quit. And so, for the next 72 hours, I want to challenge all of you in this room to commit to do a small step in your project or your goal that you've set, 
and just to do a single task, either writing down the problem you're trying to solve or just find out the first part of the problem you're trying to solve. You see, 72 hours isn't a long amount of time. It's short enough to be like, it's possible, but it's long enough to make measurable and good progress on your work. And so the key here is to focus on what you could have done and what you did done in those 72 hours. And by documenting your progress, you can see the next step, next step, and hopefully by the end of the 72 hours, it, it, it motivates you to do some more steps to finish that project or that goal you've set. Thank you for listening to my TED Talk, and I wish you all the best.